Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Tops Allen & Ginter Baseball Random Team Break number 5 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into the action. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up. Remember, we combo the Tigers and the Rays, and there's its own, the own uh, non-sports, non-baseball spot right there as well, which is a really nice spot. Uh, let's randomize each list. Three and a six nine times. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Allen down to Jarrett. Three and a six, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. Six and a three, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Boom, nine times. Royals on top, and the Mariners on the bottom. All right, so Alan, you have the KC Royals, Anthony with the Blue Jays, Rick T with the non sport, non baseball, and other spot, John H with the Padres. TC with the Phillies, your other last spot mojo, Cleveland Indians. Boombox with the Angels. Patrick Williamson with the Cardinals. Boombox, you also have my Dodgers, Manny Machado playing tonight with number eight on his jersey. Uh, in honor of Kobe Bryant, it seems like. His dog's name is Kobe, too. Red Sox, Nick K. Jarrett Nationals, Chris Miller Rangers, David Kiss with the Diamondbacks. Jarrett, you got the White Sox. Allen with the Giants, Oppo, Joe Mojo. Patrick with the Yankees, John H. Braves. Tigers Rays combo and Reds. Uh, we already said TC. David Kiss with the Rockies. John Ryder with the Astros. Mark Glassman with the A's. Uh, Marlins, Miller, Chris Miller. Jarrett with the Pirates. Anthony with the Mets. Mark with the Twins. Rick T with the Cubbies. Nick K with the Orioles. John Ryder with the Brewers. And Jarrett with the Mariners. Angels for non-sport, Boombox is offering. Let's sort by column B. Rick T saying, better not, but thanks. I do like that non-sports spot. I think that's a... Uh... Oh, Nick Jaspi in the house as well. Hi, Nick. Hi. Nick Jaspi in the house. Rare appearance here. He's kind of filling in for some of the missing sorters that we have, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, um, things might be like an extra day or two delayed than what you normally would expect. Just because we got... Summertime, folks. People are out of town. All right, let's close up that trade window. Rick T was like, there'll probably be an Otani now that he denied that trade. I don't know. You could get... The, well, no, actually, yeah. The, the tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo would go with the Angels. All right, so trade window closed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for getting in. Now, I like that non-sports spot, though. That's like a what was like I was gonna say that's like a ninety hundred dollar value, I think, on the on the picker team. So here on a Friday, happy Friday, boys and girls. Break number five, random team five. Thanks everybody for getting in. I really appreciate it. Now, I grabbed one of the thirds of the case from the back. It says RT on it, as we marked it when I first popped open this fresh case. And good luck, everybody. Here we go. So I have a question for you guys. Um, speaking of Ginter, to rip or not to rip? That is the question. Now, uh, Rex posted something in our Facebook group earlier today. Um, actually, be sure to join that Facebook group, folks, our buy, sell, trade, and chat Facebook group. I'll drop the link in the chat for those of you watching live. Um, he, he posted uh, a, a rip card from some, of the, some, from some other guy. 
who pulled this roof card. And they it was wait, who is I don't know if Rex is still listening. Who's the player again? Should I look? I think I I may have maybe logged into my Facebook on this browser. Um I am. But go to the Facebook group. The the the, the picture the picture is there. Oh, it was Ju Justin Upton, right? Was the uh was the player on the front of the rip card? Per the the person ripped it open, and inside was a a uh, Otani one of one wood made out of wood. Now the, the we were having a conversation. Yes, this stemmed from the conversation Rex and I were having yesterday, where it was like, well, do like what's what's Topps's game theory on this? Are they going to put good rip cards or good mini cards? inside bad players or players that aren't as collectible in the hobby because they think people are going to rip it to reward those people? Or is it the reverse? Or is it like reverse psychology? Or is it reverse of the reverse psychology? We got that Hank Aaron rip card, right? The In, in our one of our first breaks of Ginter on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We pulled a Hank Aaron rip card. So... Now, most people probably will be not inclined to rip that Hank Aaron card, right? But what if Topps counting on that puts like an incredible mini card inside? Or does Topps want to have the marketing power of people ripping those cards and seeing great things inside? I don't know. See, there, there's, a lot, there's a, lot of, uh, a lot of game theory in there. So what does everyone think? R to rip or not to rip? Evan Newman says rip it. Boombox says says don't rip, sell. He says I've never gotten anything good from the rip cards. All right. Uh, Sam, yes. In this ran the Ginter random team breaks, one spot gets you two teams. We only sell 15 spots. All right, good luck, everybody. We'll hold these minis right here just to look at the backs of those and see if they're in they're, they're hand numbered. Did that person call and ask if we carry ARs? AR2s? I've never heard of an AR2. I've heard of an AR15. There's Kenley Jansen. Should we get a gun for the store, Nick? <laughs> we sell sports cards. We, little, not quite guns, but we do sell sports cards. I can bring I can bring the pug for company morale. Store dog? Yeah. I can I can bring the pug sometimes. Um Kib says, well obviously they want you to rip it so they can keep people will keep buying the product for the rip cards. That's one of my favorites, Jeannie Bouchard. Um That probably makes a little more sense. Jeremy Anderson says, or no, Joe Flores was first. He saw, I saw someone rip it and he got a regular mini, not numbered or anything. I would not rip it. They're technically short prints, but yeah, sometimes they can just be a regular, a regular mini card without, without any number, but they are short prints though. She's easy on the eyes too. Oh, is it a drone or something like that? Yeah. Boombox like is an AR2 a plane? Oh, maybe it is. Um, Jeremy Anderson, says, if it's not yours, <laughs> rip. If mine, I wouldn't. William saying, what positive for Tops is it to have a huge hit inside a card you don't want to rip? Well, yeah, that's true. And that's I think that's what Kip was getting at. Behind Epstein is Barry Larkin Relic. Nice, with a bit of that Red Legs pinstripe in there. That goes to John H. Dodgers game starts in about an hour, I think. Yeah, it's in Milwaukee. Manny Machado making a start tonight, folks, in Dodger blue. He'll be batting second, I believe, and is number eight. 
as we said at the top of this break. There's the, this is the guy that Mike Matheny didn't talk to for like months, Dexter Fowler, apparently, according to the stories. And there's Will Myers, piece of his jersey, going to the Padres. That'll be for John H. All right, there you go. So there are a few hits right there. I'll open the box toppers all at once at the uh, at the end. Let's take a look at the backs of these to see if there are any numbered cards. No. Sloan Stevens, our, our next great American tennis player, ladies and gentlemen? I think so. Set that right there, too. Rex is pitching the idea of, of scratch-off tickets and packs. Like what, like, what would you get? Like, rewards points or, like, boxes of cards, like, stuff like that? I mean, they can't give away straight-up money, but I guess those Topps Home Run Derby cards are kind of like scratchers. Jeremy Anderson asking, have we had any numbered minis yet? Um, not many. I think like one or two. That's it. Did Tops hide cards in the top flap this year? No, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there better not be. I don't think so. I haven't, I, haven't see, I haven't seen any. Unless they're in a trash can somewhere. Uh, I don't know, Rex. I, my guess is that y no, yes. Were rip cards created solely for the, re the for the recent incarnation of Allen and Ginter, or were they in the old Allen and Ginter products back in the day? That I don't know. That's a very good question, actually. Tops, if you're listening, at Jasby's Hobbyland on Twitter, we'd love a response. Sean, what's going on? Okay, so Boombox saying a few years ago, oh, they hid them in the lid of the box. Oh, I think I vaguely remember something like that. You had to pull it apart to find them. I have noticed any box flap that looks different. I, I guess it would be pretty pretty noticeable if, if I saw one. Well, if they existed, Rex, that would be pretty awesome. A rip card from the 1800s. To rip or not to rip an actual Allen & Ginter from the 1800s Allen & Ginter rip card. Our first autograph from this break, it's Rowdy Reed. That is a Nationals autograph going to Jarrett K. There you go, Jarrett. TC, yeah, I think, who mentioned that earlier? Was it Sam Roll, maybe? Someone mentioned that earlier. I forgot to respond to it. Yeah, Matt Carpenter going five for five, three home runs, seven RBIs. He just, just went bananas. Oh, it was Sam, yeah.
He made history. Has has no one gone five for five with three home runs? I guess I guess not. Well, didn't didn't Dodger Sean Green go bananas? Maybe he didn't. He maybe he didn't go five for five. I think he hit like four home runs in a game. By the way, I think everyone knows by now the, this bullpen card doesn't actually go to the Diamondbacks. And this goes to the non-sports or the other spot. They really they need to bring bullpen carts back. There's Nolan Ryan. Angels edition of Nolan Ryan. California Angels. That goes to Mark Glassman. Sean Coleman asking, anything new coming out? We just had four new releases two days ago. Are you not entertained? Sean's already ready for the next. He's just like, eh. Old old two days ago, old news. California Angels goes to Mark Glassman, Boombox. See, there's the Home Run Derby card that you can scratch off and then something happens. Oh, a trip to next year's Home Run Derby. Uh, where's the... Cleveland. Cleveland. All-Star Games in Cleveland next year. And then after that, Dodgers? I think it's, I think it's L.A. in 2020. What else is happening in 2020? Oh, yeah. That is going to be a wild year. Um, yeah, no no auto yet. Oh, yeah, the Euros. Euro 2020 soccer tournament there. Megan, yes, we were actually discussing that a little bit earlier. Rex had posted that in the Facebook group. It's pretty crazy. There's Darvish, Cubs edition, going to Rick T. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, um, I was gonna ask Nick when did when did you guys put that bet on the Eagles to win the Super Bowl last summer? Uh, February of two thousand. Oh, you did it after the Super Bowl? Yeah, it was like a few weeks after. The Super Bowl. Wow. Oh, look at, keep these right here. Haven't gone through the backs of those yet. No worries, Megan. Um, so, Ma Megan, what do you think? To rip or not to rip? That's been kind of the discussion in this in this break. I think everyone's leaning towards, I wouldn't rip it. I would sell it. Have someone else <laughs> rip it. Everyone, everyone's, a little, uh, everyone's a little scared to rip it if they actually got it out of like one of our breaks or a box they buy from their local car shop or whatever. There you go. There's a numbered one right here. That's Fernando Rodney. Now, I think you can tell by the front of the cards, but I like double-checking the back. That's Twins edition of Fernando Rodney. Ooh, Megan is a little more bold. She says, I think I'd rip. I'd hate not knowing. Okay, what if it was... Let's up the ante, Megan. What if it was Hank Aaron? To 75. There's 23 out of 25. Rodney for the uh, Twins. That'll go to Mark Glassman. Because we pulled a we pulled a Hank Aaron rip card to like 50 or to 75 or something like that in one of our first breaks of Alan and Ginter on jazbeeshobbyland.com. The winner, I think, was Alan Murdoch. I, he, he declined to rip it. So you do rip something like that because Chris Torres is saying depends on the player. I guess Upton, maybe you'd rip the Justin Upton. What if it's Hank Aaron, though? Now I'm looking at the flaps, Mark. You got me all, all twisted on that. Kip says rip them. Screw it, rip it. I mean, they're all, you're guaranteed at the very least a short print. There it is. Alan's like, I'm not ripping Hank. Rex said, I would rip the Rosario. Ooh. Megan's like, well, it's not an autograph. I'd still rip it. Bold. You heard it here first, folks. Bold. Bold, bold move, Megan. 
I think a lot, a lot of the folks in here. Uh, well, Alan owns it, and Alan's like not ripping it. Rex says I ripped a Prince Fielder from a couple years ago and got a Matt Carpenter short print. Do you still have it? it? Went five for five today. Three home runs, seven RBIs. Yeah, Kip, Megan, Megan would go big. She'd just be like ripping that Hank Aaron. No auto on that Hank? Popping that open. No, Rex, Rex moved that mini. How much did it go for? The short prints, a lot of people make sets out of these, so sometimes some of the short prints probably probably would go for a decent amount. Rex can't remember if I pulled that or if it was Nick. I, I don't remember pulling a rip. Maybe I do. If it was a couple years ago. Was it my first rip card? There's a, there's a great video of my first rip card. That must have been like two or three years ago. Or three years ago. I was nervous. I had to look at videos of other guys ripping the rip cards. <laughs> Cruz saying, how about this? Wouldn't you want to rip them all because of the chance for like a Shoei o Otani Auto Red? Just because it's his rookie year. Yeah, maybe they loaded it up because it's his rookie year. I don't know. In our Facebook group, Cruz, um, Rex posted someone who ripped a Justin Upton rip card. And there was a show. It oh, there's a rip card right here. What magic. The magic that happens here at Jazby's Hobby. Then we're talking about it. It happens. We spoke it into existence. 32 out of 50. Ty Cobb. <laughs> Nick Jaspi in the background saying, he's a nobody. Rip it. That goes to the Tigers Rays combo. The combo spot. Oh, Kip remembers my first. My you, you, You'll never forget your first. Um, I remember, Kip's like, I remember you ripping your first one. It was funny. It was nervous. He was nervous for me. I was nervous too. Ty Cobb, 32 out of 50. Now, if it's Megan, she'd rip it. But this is for John H., John Hyanga. We'll leave it right there. Maybe, maybe. I, I'm not going to try to pressure him. All, the guys are all pressuring you in the chat though, John H., if you're watching live. But... It's up to you. Can't believe we're talking about it. There's a rip card. Kip, I know you that you've been known to chase a uh, a, a Ty Cobb here and there. In our in our case breaks, um, would you rip that Ty Cobb, or would you uh, hold on to it? Kip's like, I'm not ripping that. Couple minis right here. No John H in the chat, so he's not watching live, so Well John, when and if you receive that card? Or when you receive that card, if you decide to rip, let us know what you get. Or let us know either way. I guess we'd all, we'd all be curious. <laughs> Kip's like, probably a Chris Davis under that. Chris Davis? Chris with a C? Chris with a C. Crush Davis? With like all the at bats, like not a not a good season for him. And he getting paid thirty million. That contract was bad. That was not a good contract. They have to trade Adam Jones. They got to. They have to trade Adam Jones. That's fine. Oh, there's the mini right there. And then we got Jonathan Scope. Jonathan Scope's still under arbitration for a little bit, so he might they might try to build around him. I like that player. 
No, you're right, Kib. It was it was a good deal at the time. Right. Let's set that right there. Pujols contract was good at the time as well. No, the Pujols contract was way too long though. Right. The Chris Davis contract isn't that long, right, Kib? Uh, I don't know if you can speak on John's behalf. Uh, this is John with Hayes Kafers. This is John H with a uh, no H in John. <laughs> Kip says he pull, Chris Davis pulled the Joe Flacco. <laughs> well, there he is. There, speak of the devil. There he is right there. Take a glance at the backs. I don't think there's going to be anything here. We pulled some nice rip card. We pulled a, the Hank Aaron rip card, the 32 out of 50 Ty Cobb. What could be under here? A red mini autograph, exclusive mini parallel. That's the short print. Uh, a mini wood parallel, mini metal parallel, or a one-of-a-kind sketch card. I think we actually pulled, remember the Adam Jones sketch card we pulled yeah, out of a rip card? Yeah. I forgot who, I don't know, I don't remember who that was for. I feel like it was for a regular. But remember, we did get a rip card, and that person said, do it, rip it. And it was a one of one Adam Jones sketch card in there. I think if you dig back far enough in our uh, in our Instagram or our Twitter, at Jaspie's Hobbyland, you should be able to see that one of one sketch card. We pulled, we also pulled. Back a couple, maybe two or three years ago, we also pulled a really nice buyback card, an, an original Allen and Ginter buyback card from like the 1880s or something like that. And it was, um, it was, they probably have them every year, right? But it was, uh, it was like a, a bird, some sort of bird, but it was in the frame and everything. It was pretty incredible to see, to see something like that from those old uh, tobacco cards. A trout Otani? Trout Otani double rip card? Yeah, would you rip it? Yeah, I would rip it. There might be another Trout and Otani inside. Rex remembers the sketch card. Yeah, double rip cards are... Um, double double rip cards do exist this year as well. What's the most disappointing mini inside a rip card I've ever seen? Um, I don't know. I'm sure we can look at the checklist. There'll be a short print list for the minis, I'm sure. Or someone might have it. And then we can all figure out who the most disappointing one would be. I mean, they can't all be Otanis, right? Can't all be Mike Trouts. And Rex said I'd probably end up getting a Henry Owens. Even this year. Oh, positive thinking, Rex. The power of positive thinking. Al Murdoch, you can't rewind yeah, I saw that. oh maybe 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 YouTube updated something and I don't know I'll, I'll look at it I'll, I'll look at the settings after sorry Alan you have uh, the Giants and you should have one more team you have the Giants and Royals that's true that's true Rex does use the reverse psychology yeah, I think YouTube must have updated something, so they may have switched or automatically reset that setting. So I'll double check it after. Are you in this one, Joe? No, I don't think Joe Flores is in this one. All right, folks. Last box, and then we'll do the box toppers, and then I think that's it. All right. Are these the... Oh, I think these are the glossy cards, right? So you can tell right here, folks. You can see the Jeter has that glossy finish, but when the light is on the Montgomery, it's more of a flat finish. So these are these th those will all ship. I think there's... I think one box per case has those... Uh, 
has those um, glossy cards. Uh, and that'll go to the Chris Bryant goes to Rick T and the Cubs. I think, was, it, wait, was that the only glossy card in there? No, there's got to be more. Maybe it's not the glossy hot box. Is that a one of one glossy? Because all these have that flat finish right here. But this has this has clearly clearly a gloss. It is a one of one. Yeah. Whoa, called Nick Jaspi called it. Called it. Wow. He's like, is it a one of one? Because I was like, there should be like one in every pack or something like that. Or or I think they're all. But it's a one of one, folks. Wow, I almost missed that. The shipping team would have yelled at me. They would have been like, bro, you forgot one of these, dude. Yankees. Patrick Williamson with the Yankees. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Wow. That was unexpected. So not a hot box, just a hot card. Yeah, because usually I think the hot box, all of them are, all the commons are glossy. Yeah. They, they, they hid that one of one down there. And it blends in, yeah. It's, it's dangerous. Uh, there's Joey Votto. Joey Votto, piece of his lumber going to the Reds. John H. with that one. I had the feel, though. I had the touch, ladies and gentlemen. I knew that felt different. All right, so this is nice stuff, folks. We've got another um, random team break in the store. And we also have a half case pick your team as well, ladies and gentlemen. We did the first half last night. Do the second half tonight. Jaspieshobbyland.com. Place for the breaks. Where magic happens. Where big hits happen. So join the chase, folks. Join the thrill of the chase. There are winners. There are losers. But you can't win if you don't play, folks. There's Jose Abreu. Pinstripe relic for the White Sox. Jarrett with that one. We'll save one of these Otanis for the Angels as well. What are you doing? All right. We'll look on the backs of these minis. So great four-box random team break from jazpiecehobbyland.com, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the Ty Cobb rip card, unripped. Still sitting there, out of 50. And then we got the Jeter one of one, which was nice. So that's pretty strong. All right. And... We've got the standards or the smaller size box loaders, three of them. Usually there's more of those ones. We haven't seen anything especial in these uh, box loaders yet. But this is this might be the kind of break where we could see one. There's Cal Ripken Jr. For the Orioles, of course, that goes to Nick K. We've got Joey Votto. For the red legs, that'll be for John H. I have been on a pretty good one-of-one -one hot streak, kid. That's right. Optic baseball, too. There's Mike Trout for the Angels. That'll go to Boombox. 
And last but not least is, speaking of Noah Syndergaard, there he is. Noah Syndergaard. Anthony with the Metropolitans. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Great break, Joe, for jazbeeshobbydan.com. Again, we've got random teams and pick your teams of the brand new Allen & Ginger Baseball in the store. So check it out. We've been pulling heat out of all these breaks. So check it out while these hands are still hot. jazbeeshobbydan.com. Bye-bye.